What if I told you you could turn this boring practice footage into this epic fighting scene without any green screen, expensive equipment or Hollywood budget? In the next few minutes I will show you the exact workflow that transforms regular footage into cinematic gold using cutting edge AI tools. Here is what we're dealing with. Traditional methods require expensive equipment, green screens, and months of work. But with AI tools and models like One 2.1 Vase, we can create beautiful scenes and videos in hours, not months. Today, I'm about to break down my entire process from filming to final edit so you can create your own epic video. First, we need to record the footage of us fighting. Here's a trick that made our fighting scene easier and possible. We choreographed our movements slower than normal speed not slow motion recording just slower and more controlled movements this gives us two massive advantages first it's way easier to nail the choreography when you're not rushing second we can speed up the action when editing the video to create those lightning fast combat moments no green screen no special lightning and no studio just a camera simple bad acting and being wise enough to know to be foolish sometimes the video starts to look a bit better once we selectively speed up different parts. So here are four speed adjustments I did to make this video a bit better. When loading for a punch, I keep it a bit slower for the tension and the actual punch here I speed it up for impact and the dodging movements accelerated for that matrix effect and the flying knee at the end I ramped up the speed for explosive action. And this creates that signature movie feel where every movement has perfect timing and impact now this is the part that is very interesting with this new one vase reference to video I took a screenshot of the first frame of the video this becomes the image we will use in mid journey this single frame will determine the entire aesthetic of our final video now we take this frame into mid journeys editor and retexture it to the style we want look at this transformation from regular guys to something out of Mortal Kombat the AI understands the composition but completely reimagines the style based on your prompt or description of that style. All I wrote was Mortal Kombat for my video and I'm sure you can write an even better prompt for your specific style. But we're not done yet. If you want to edit any part of your image, you can use the in painting feature inside of Mid Journey to remove or add stuff. In my case, I use the generative fill inside of Photoshop to remove objects in the background. However, I continued with the raw first frame because I found it funny to keep the objects. Now, even though you can skip this step, the next one is really important if you want to start creating great AI videos. This is where most beginners fail and end up with bad AI videos that never get any views or attention. Before we put it all together and generate the final video, we need to upscale our retextured image using a special upscaling method that increases the quality, improves details, and keeps the same composition using AI. It's called refined upscaling. I usually try one with 20% creativity and the second one with higher settings. Now the improved details and quality will carry through to our final video, making every frame crisp and professional, giving us a better consistent AI video with better details. Let's move on to what makes all of this possible and probably the most important step, Confi UI. Here is where the video is actually created. I'm using Think Diffusion. This is a game changer because it lets you run these powerful AI workflows in the cloud without owning any expensive hardware. I have noticed a lot of smart people stay away from Confi UI because they cannot run it locally or they do not have expensive hardware. But Think Diffusion actually solves that problem. You can access Confi UI directly through your browser and run the same workflows that would normally require thousands of dollars in a Equipment. Now here is the beautiful part. I have made this incredibly easy for you. The complete workflow is in the description below. You literally just drag and drop the JSON file into Confi UI inside Think Diffusion. You can find the link in the description below. Watch this. Drag the file in and boom. The entire workflow loads automatically. All the nodes, all the connections, everything is set up for you. I know that most people get a headache once they see Confi UI, so I have made it very beginner friendly. And here are the few and crucial things you need to get right first upload your raw video footage here but here's the key you need to resize both your video and your styled images to the same dimension I usually have it at 856 by 480 
and this dimension is optimized for one 2.1 vase and it will give you the best results. Your styled first frame goes here and remember it has to be the correct dimensions going along with the video. This consistency in dimensions is critical for the AI to properly map the style to the motion. Here's something incredible. You can set the steps to just four. Yes, you heard that right, four steps. This makes the generation incredibly fast while maintaining amazing quality. Most AI video tools require 20 to 50 steps for high quality results. With this one vase workflow in ConfiUI, you can often get impressive results with as few as four steps, making AI generation incredibly fast. For some projects, you may still want to use more steps for the highest quality, but this workflow definitely pushes the boundaries of speed and efficiency. Now let's move on to the next settings and let's talk frames. You have several controls here. Frame count, well, it determines your video length. Frame rate, I recommend higher FPS for capturing mouth movements and micro expressions. Start frame is if you want to skip the beginning of your footage and start the video later in your uploaded video. Since we've already edited the video and the first frame, we can set this to zero so it starts immediately. Frame load cap, this limits how many frames to process, just set it to zero to process the entire video. Another important aspect that runs in the background without you needing to configure anything is the depth map that is created for your video. This makes the job easier for the AI to give you a more stable video. The beauty of this workflow is that I have pre-configured everything for optimal results. You can use it as is or tweak these settings once you understand how they affect the output. And for the videos, I generated two versions, one three seconds long and the other four seconds. I accidentally generated one with fewer frames however it gave me options for the final edit here is another trick i used i loved an effect from the three second version where one character gets hit i combined this into the four second version by decreasing the opacity and blending them together and let's not forget that audio sells the illusion here are the sound effects i added so for the intro i added the mortal kombat fight soundtrack and the whoosh sounds for the punches and lastly the impact sounds for hits look at these results Fight. consistent characters, perfect motion tracking, relevant sound effects, and great quality. The AI maintained every detail while transforming the entire video to another level. From controlled movements to explosive animated action, and the characters remain perfectly consistent throughout the video. This workflow and process opens up incredible possibilities for content creators. Thanks to Think Diffusion, you don't need any expensive hardware. Thanks to one 2.1 vase, you get professional results in minutes and not hours or months. The complete ConfiUI workflow, all the settings and links to Think Diffusion are in the description below. Subscribe for more AI breakdowns and let me know what you will create with this. The future of content creation is here and it's accessible to everyone.